Hey, I'm Bob and I like to make stuff. Today on Maker 101, we're gonna talk about saws. There are lots of types of saws, but today we're gonna talk about four common ones that you'll run into at the hardware store. Before we talk about those saws, I wanna talk about safety very quickly. No matter how much experience you have, no matter how skilled you are, you need to have a healthy fear of saws. They're dangerous, that's it. You can lose a finger or worse in no time. So always be aware that saws are very dangerous. Try to keep your hands as far away from the blade as possible. Use a push stick, use clamps to hold wood down, get your hands as far away from the blade as you can at all times. That being said, let's get started. First, there's the miter or chop saw. It's called a miter saw because you can set the angle of the blade as it enters the wood. Now if you have a compound miter saw, that means that you can set two angles on the blade. This is the saw that you would probably use if you were gonna do crown molding for your house or any kind of trim work. It's also great for chopping two by fours or making any straight cuts. I use my miter saw constantly and you'll see it in a lot of my videos. It's a great saw to have. Next up is the table saw. The table saw is a little bit different than these others because it's the only one with a fixed blade. The blade stays in its place and you move the wood across the blade. This is great because you can move any amount of wood. If you have a 4x8 sheet of plywood or a 8, 10, 12 foot 2x4 and you want to cut them, you can push anything across the blade. Most table saws have an adjustable fence that help you guide the wood across the blade to keep it straight. There are also lots of jigs that you can use to push things through at an angle or do lots of different types of things on a table saw. We'll talk about the jigs in another video. Next up is the jigsaw. Jigsaw is a little bit different as well. Instead of a spinning blade, it has a thin blade that moves up and down. Whereas a spinning blade kind of pulls itself through the wood, on a jigsaw, it relies on your arm to push the blade. Since the blade is thin, you can turn the saw as it's in use and cut curves, you can cut notches, you can get a lot of places that you can't get with a bigger blade. You would not want to use a jigsaw to cut a large amount of wood. It would be really tiring on your arm and you'd go through blades pretty quickly. Last up is the circular saw. If you can only buy one saw, get a circular saw. It's the most versatile. You can do just about everything you can do with the other saws all in one package. You can make a long cut as long as you can reach. You can cut angles as long as you can clamp the wood down so that it stays in place. You can do a whole lot with the circular saw and the price is hard to beat. They're only around $30. You can also get a jigsaw for around $30 but if you want a miter saw or a table saw, your price is gonna start closer to 100 and just go up depending on the size and the features. Like I said before, saws are dangerous, so no matter what you get, please read the instructions, look up some safety videos, find out how to use it safely before you start cutting anything. If you have any other questions about these saws or any others, please leave them in the comments below or on Facebook. Don't forget to subscribe for more Maker 101 and my project videos, and check out iliketomakestuff.com. There's lots of free plans there, that's where all these projects live, and there's a blog post around every two weeks. If you'd like to support these projects and these videos, please check out my Patreon page. There's a video there that explains what Patreon is, how it helps you, and how it helps me. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time on Maker 101.